Good morning, all. It's Dakota and family. Of course, yeah, it's the same video, basically. Dakota playing with leaves, but that's what he loves to do. I wanted to talk to you a little bit how we prepare Dakota for winter as far as telling him it's too cold to be outside. Right now, it's about 42, 43 degrees. Uh, and yes, yeah, norm, normal, uh, neurotypical kid, you can tell, hey, it's too cold, you can't go outside. But Dakota, you gotta let him experience it. Once he experiences the first really cold snap, he'll not want to go outside. So, so he learns differently from a neurotypical kid. He has to experience it, either visualize it, he learns it through his senses, whether it's cold, hot, whatever. Uh, and that's how he learns that it's cold. Hope that kind of explains that to you and everything. It's very, very tricky with him. Uh, it should be warm up to the six, around 60. It's going to be mild fall-like uh, weather for the next uh, week, at least through Wednesday. And so... It's great for playing with leaves and stuff. Now, we still have uh, other problems, too. It's like we have some uh, cognitive delayed kids that we have to uh, be very patient and teach them how to deal with Dakota, and they've been losing patience with them. So what we've been doing is really stepping up and making sure that there's less pressure on them. However, However, they got to realize that we have to do other things like grocery shop, pay bills, and unfortunately my car is too small to bring everybody and do the grocery shopping I need to do. So, you know, they get mad when we leave for a couple hours and have to do that. But, yeah, and everything. But, you know, it's just uh, give and take. That's a little bit of our family dynamic right there. So we have to be very patient on all forms. And then, of course, in this nights like, or this morning, like when we get up at 5.30 in the morning because he decides it's time to wake up. Or he sleeps through the day. Stuff still has to get going on. But we still have to take time out and rest. So it's kind of hard. Next few weeks, we're going to be very busy. Going on a lot of trips. I have a school meeting that I have to go to. On Veterans Day, well, no, not Veterans Day, November 13th, which is very important for Dakota. We will probably get a notice of action that they're not going to provide them with apparel day like we want them to. But that's okay. That's okay. That's not the end of everything. That means they're saying that they can take care of them without another pair added to the mix. That means they take on the responsibility and they put it in writing. That means if anything happens to him... Um, they can be held accountable. So, you know, either way, I'm happy. I'd rather he have a pair. But I'll set up for what I can do. But anyways, uh, other than that, that's what we've been doing. Uh, let's see. I uh, He has to go to see the Thompson Center for autism. He has an appointment there. Uh, I have a cardiac appointment late in the month, around November 25th. Uh, we have to go to a specialist dentist and all that. So, basically, that's what we got going on, guys. So, instead of a typical, you know, to call a plane with the leaves, I just thought I'd share with you how we prepare winter for Dakota. Dakota learns through his senses. He has to experience the cold to realize, hey, it's too cold to go outside. It's time to take a break from going outside. We have to do that every year, and we have to reteach this to the kids every year. And all that. So it's like we should put it on recording. I told the kids we're all taking turns coming out here and watching him. Now... It's real easy to watch them. You can still do what you want to do, but you just keep an eye on them. And the only difference is you're outside. You know? Like, I'm making a video right now. Talking about how he learns that it's cold, too cold outside to play. 
I hope that explains things for for you. And uh, if you have any questions about Dakota, feel free to ask. You know. So if you want to do a Q and A on that, ask us anything about Dakota. Let us know. More leaves have fallen. You can hear the leaves falling and all that. All right, guys, I'm out of here. I hope you enjoyed this video. Like, comment, and subscribe. Follow us on everything.